hello everyone in this video I will uh, show you how to install GNSV uh, with VMware so I have VMware here I have installed VMware and I have downloaded uh, GNS3 VMware which is here so I will extract GNS3 first I need to extract the GNS3 here and I have also downloaded the GNS3 software which is the version 223 2.2.3 uh, we have to use the same version as VMware I mean the GNS3 VM if we are using the different version of GNS3 software and uh, GNS3 VM it won't work and also I have downloaded the Cisco iOS router software which is uh, 7200 for the router and this will be using for the switch 3640 iOS this was switching so yeah I have finished extract so I go to GNS3 and will be import uh, into VMware so I go to VMware and then I click open virtual machine which is I just extract here so I go to my external drive then I go to GNS3 folder then I go to GNS3 VM then it will be import yeah import to the VMware right now um, I have no uh, any virtual machine so this is my first virtual machine is GNS3 VM it's finishing after we import uh, GNS3 VM, just minimize it. Now go to install GNS3 software. You can download free from the GNS3 software, sorry, from the GNS3 website. Yeah, next. I agree. Next. Here, I don't need uh, Wireshark. And I don't need uh, I don't I don't need a uh, uh, solar putty, so just untick solar putty and Wireshark. The rest just leave with it. Yeah, leave it, then go next. Next install. Yeah, it will be installed uh, GNS3 software. So whatever the software it required, it will be download from the internet so please connect to the internet okay yeah now i go to agree install yeah, and then i click next finish then it will be continue the in installation of GNS3 software okay now the installation completed okay next SolarWind SolarWind we don't need to install right now yeah next finish you can start GNS3 if you want you can start it later no problem it will be open the GNS3 software yeah, I just don't need this 
close then I just minimize just wait for the application open it will be open the GNS3 somewhere so just a minute yeah now with this setup with that you can use run appliance in a virtual machine because we already import GNS3 VM so uh, we will use GNS3 VM not use on the my local net computer so I select run appliance in a virtual machine then click next then just leave edit just click next and then next yes it will be automatically detect VMware okay I have installed VMware and then all also import uh, GNS3 VM the VM name called GNS3 VM then just click next then it will be open the GNS3 VM software the, the machine I mean just minimize it just wait for the opening of GNS3 VM Just a minute, I minimize this. Yes, now click finish. Okay, now you have a uh, GNS3 running, but you don't have a router. You don't have a router like Cisco router, you know. I have downloaded uh, Cisco router iOS, which is available on the Google. Uh, I have downloaded the 7200 iOS Cisco router for uh, router and I have downloaded the iOS 3640 this is for using as a switch so now we import these two uh, iOS into GNS3 so how to import it so you know you click on edit preferences yeah go to dynamics and uh, iOS router click on new run this iOS router on GNS3 VM I don't want to use my uh, router CPU sorry my computer CPU this router will be running on GNS3 VM I click next I browse to the iOS which I downloaded okay router next open yeah yes next let's just wait okay next 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 yeah this is the slots there are seven slots each slot you can add ports like you add card in the real router you add more more ports more interfaces you know in slot 0 I will not use fast Ethernet I will use gigabit Ethernet I will add another three more interfaces okay one more gigabit Ethernet one more gigabit Ethernet as you like it will be available up to seven interfaces you can but I need only four interfaces then I click next here please click an ideally PC value because it is necessary to prevent iOS to use your CPU up to 100% if you don't use this virtual address code for ideally PC you will be I mean your computer will be uh, take 100% uh, of CPU by running a 
our router okay so need to click ideally PC finder to prevent using 100% of CPU just wait it will be looking for the address code okay now it found so click OK click OK after it found and then finish now you have one router so I need uh, another switch I mean layer 3 switch actually in GNS3 software GNS3 application not available for the uh, layer 3 switch so if you want to use layer 3 switch you have to uh, use router and turn it into switch as I told you just now, I have downloaded iOS 3.6.4.0 as a switch. Okay, let's go to new, run on GNS3 VM, and then click next. Then I click new image, browse to the switch, iOS for switch, open, compress. Next, yeah. Actually, this iOS is the router which is mod the model of uh, 3600, and this router model can turn into a Ethernet switch in GNS3 because GNS3 uh, layer 3 switch there's not available, I mean, layer 2 switch not available like a manage switch. Okay, so we use this as a manage switch instead of using router. Next, next, yeah, slot zero will not leave, we cannot leave it uh, empty. So we can use slot zero as the switch port, yeah, and slots one also switch port, it will become. 32 16 plus 16 32 ports so if you don't want to just click empty then you will have only 16 ports 16 interfaces so just any you can edit it later okay next yeah here as uh, I explained just now the same as uh, router so you need to click this ideal PC finder to prevent your CPU usage It will be taking some time for uh, finding address code, virtual address code. Now it is it is found, and click OK. Finish. Now you have one manage switch and one router. Now you can start using this GNS3 to learn your routing to 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 uh, practice your VLAN practice your uh, routing configuration like that in Cisco products you don't have to buy you just do this GNS3 with uh, VM and then you will be able to use Cisco router or Cisco switch uh, before I am finish this video yeah let me just drag and drop how to drag and drop the router and switch you click on the router you go to 
No, first you need to create a project. You go to File, New Blank Project, any names, just testing. Okay, you have then a project now, then you drag and drop the router. Where is the switch you have uh, import just now? Go here. Here is the Ethernet switch router. You go here. Yeah. Now you have one router, one switch, and one PC. This is a virtual PC. Okay. This is the link where you can link your router, any interfaces you like, and click on Ethernet switch, any interface you like, and link from switch to PC. Okay, now you see all red here, router, PC, and switch, all red. It means it mean that uh, these three devices are not started yet, are not power on yet, it's still power off. How to power it on? How to power it on? Okay, you press this, it means you start all nodes, it means you start to power on all at once okay and then you can use the router and switch okay to use the router and switch you just go right click and start so sorry right click on the router and then you go to uh, like uh, it, it start Reload. where is the console here you go to console okay you go to console it you can start using the command okay close even the switch you can go to right click on the switch uh, just now I was looking for the console it up here console the same then you can start using the router it just booting up yeah in the next video I will show you how to configure switch and router so now is the end of this video yeah really end of this video but uh, will be coming for the next video how to configure this router and how to configure the switch so thank you for watching